Hey, this is Kathy McAllister of T Wife Creations. Today I'm going to show you this laser cut uh, wood piece that's part of um, a form bundle that I have available on my website, twife.com. Uh, the full piece includes the barn, a chicken, a milk bottle, and a Highland cow. But today we're, uh, we're concentrating on the crazy chicken. I wanted to show you how I created her with her crazy, fun feathers and a really vibrant color. So this uh, video tutorial will walk you through the process and I hope you enjoy watching. You're going to begin by base coating the um, chicken with baby duck. That's a new color by Deco Arts Americana. And you'll want to apply two coats of the baby duck. Uh, be sure to dry in between the coats. And you can also paint the back of the chicken as well and the side edges of the chicken. Grab some antique gold and your shading brush and go ahead and do the edges of the chicken with the antique gold. You can see that you want to uh, show a delineation between the wings and the body of the chicken. going to use quite a few colors to create the illusion of feathers on your chicken. So we'll use sunset gold, asphaltum, espresso, antique gold, antique white, and then we'll come back also with some uh, warm sunset and some persimmon. I used a special uh, script brush to create my feathers. It has this reservoir on it that allows it to hold more uh, moisture. And so I don't have to dip it into the acrylic as much. But you can use specialty brushes or liners to create your feathers. And as you see me applying it, applying the paint, it's kind of like a swish and a flick a swish and a flick, just like we might be at Hogwarts. So um, it's, it's kind of a light touch uh, and you can make the feathers as thin or as light as you want. Now we're going to dry brush with open water and we're gonna start by adding this blue color um, at the sides of the bottom of the chicken. And remember when we're dry brushing, we're doing this in layers, we're building colors. When you 
dry brushing, you need just a small amount of paint in your brush. Uh, then you will uh, use a napkin or a paper towel and wipe it down until it's uh, dry to the feel. Dry brushing requires patience because you will build depth and dimension of color in light layers until you achieve your desired look. Uh, but be careful that you don't continue to rub so hard in one certain area that you actually burnish off the, the color. You kind of get like a hole in the color. Uh, so it's best to work on an area and then move on and allow that area to dry. So even though you're dealing with dry paint and a dry brush, uh, it's still got some wetness to it and um, you don't want to actually lift color. So um, allow the area to dry, then come back with another layer of color um, of dry brushing. And um, you'll notice in this piece that I often use a combination of color layers. So we might mix brown, orange, and blue layers, uh, and also highlights and lowlights, because that's how you build colors, and that's what gives the art piece color dimension and life. We're going to start adding um, some brown to the tummy and the wings. You're going to begin by dry brushing asphaltum or espresso um, in the wing and the tummy area. And then after you do that, you're going to build the color to a darker color uh, using traditional burnt umber. Um, and again, this is a process of building colors that the dry brush and the beauty of that is it looks a lot different if you layer up colors as opposed to like using one color um, that you can see all the depth in the shades in the, the piece that you're working on when you layer up colors using dry brushing. We're going to go back to creating feathers again, uh, starting with the antique gold. Again, we're going to swish and flick, swish and flick. The next color we're going to use for our feathers is either asphaltum or espresso.
The next two color combinations for our feathers are going to be first Sunset Gold, and then we're moving to Antique White. Now let's add some um, orangey tones by creating some feathers with persimmon. We're going back to dry brushing and we want to deepen our open water, our blue color, um, by dry brushing around the edges of the tummy at the bottom and also in the wings. We're going to deepen the area of the tummy and the wings uh, even more by dry brushing with soft black. Now grab your shading brush and the soft black and shade on the wing area.
we want to bring out the richness of the gold tones uh, in the head of the chicken and the upper torso. So we're going to create a color wash, which is kind of an inky, watery wash using sun, sunset gold and water. And you're going to apply that with a, a, a round brush, and then you're going to dab some of it off with the stippling brush. You need some uh, accent uh, feathers with the open water, kind of in the blue torso area. And then follow up with some sunset gold feathers. You need to do some more shading around the chicken and the chicken head using espresso or asphaltum. Use persimmon to paint the crown of the chicken head. And while that's drying, you can also um, get some warm sunset and use that with the dry brush to color the cheeks of the chicken.
you can paint the feet with two coats of sunset gold. Um, after that dries, you want to use a dry brush and baby duck to highlight the center of the feet. And then after that dries, you come back with the dry brush and um, some warm sunset and do the edges of the feet. And then finally, with some espresso and your shading brush, you want to go ahead and outline the um, edges uh, to shade the edges of the feet. Okay, so some of the finishing things that you need to do, uh, you need to paint the circular disc with open water, um, a couple of coats on that. If you want, you can highlight inside the disc with um, a little bit of uh, turquoise. Um, you also want to paint the glasses with open water, and then the heart is painted with primary red. Uh, and then you're going to shade around the heart with a little bit of uh, soft black. You can use some traditional burnt umber if you want. Uh, and go back to the circular blue disc and also do a little bit of shading around that with soft black.
So you can see from the final photo of uh, the queen of the coop, my crazy chicken, that there's some finishing touches I did, uh, adding in some accents with the, the white uh, marker and adding queen of the coop um, onto the little blue disc and some ribbon. Um, but that concludes the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing a different way of painting the crazy chicken uh, instead of doing the traditional white. And um, I appreciate you visiting me on my website, twife.com. That's where you can find this laser cut wood kit if you wanna buy it, the form bundle. Uh, thanks so much for watching. See you the next time.